So for this question, we're asked to draw the shear and moment diagrams for the cantilever beam. So the starting point for all of these questions is going to be to determine what the reactions are. And this time we have a fixed joint, so we need to find a horizontal, vertical and moment reaction at that fixed joint. So let's draw the free body diagram. So as I said, we need a horizontal, a vertical and a moment reaction at this position. So we can go ahead and find each of these um, and it's going to be based on our equilibrium equations. Um, I might start with summing uh, moments and I'm going to pick to sum about point A, the fixed point itself. So AX and AY act through that point so they're not going to be in the equation. Um, I've got my moment reaction that I'm actually going to try and solve for, which I've called MA, and I've drawn it anti-clockwise, so it's going to go in as positive. I've then got my applied couple, which is drawn in a clockwise direction, so it's going to be negative. And on the end I have this 2 kilonewtons, um, which is acting at the full length of the beam in here, which is a total of 3 meters. And it's going to try and rotate this thing clockwise, so it's negative. So I can solve for the moment reaction and it ends up being 9 kilonewtons per meter and it's come out positive which tells me that I drew it the correct direction over here. So I can now sum forces in the y direction to be zero. I'm going to have AY minus 2 has to be zero. So that's pretty easy. A has to be 2 kilonewtons. And if I sum in the x direction, I've actually got no forces in the x direction other than my reaction. So it's just going to be zero. All right, so we're now at the point where we know all the reactions, so we can choose a method for drawing the diagrams. So I would suggest that since this has got very simple loading, it's only got a point load and a couple, um, the easiest way would be to just use the graphical method. So that's what I'm going to do. So we can jump straight in and start to draw the shear force diagram. So remember that we follow the forces and we need to make sure we start and end at zero. So at the beginning, what happens is immediately we have this um, force of two kilonewtons going upwards. So our shear force diagram is gonna go up to two. And all the way along here, we have no additional forces acting. This is a couple, so it's not going to affect the force diagram. Keep going, keep going. The only other place we have a force is on the end here. So it's all stable along here. And then push down, it's going to go from 2 to negative. Uh, sorry, it's going to go from 2 minus 2 back to 0 at the end here. So that's the sea of force diagram. So we can now focus on the bending moment diagram. Okay, remember again we need to start and end at zero. So at the beginning here, um, we've actually got a couple applied. So that's the first thing we need to consider. And it's drawn in the anti-clockwise direction, which means that we need, when we plot it on this diagram, to plot it as a negative value, so something that's pulling the bending moment diagram downwards. Remember, uh, I talk about this in the recap video, so go and have a look at that if you want some more clarification. So this is going to be going down 9. So 0 minus 9 takes us to negative 9. We've then got to consider the areas inside the shear force diagram, um, and I'm going to look at it up until we reach this point where the, the next couple is applied. So just this section in here. So we can work out that this is on the positive side of the shear force diagram, so it's going to try and pull our bending moment diagram upwards, and we can work out how far it goes up to this point here. Um, remember that we've got some dimensions of 1.5 metres on either side in here. That I probably should have written in. Okay. So to this point here, which is 1.5 metres across, it's going to be negative 9 plus the area inside here, which is 2 times 1.5, and this works out to be negative 6. So we then have the couple applied at this point, and this one is drawn in the clockwise direction, which means when we plot it on the bending moment diagram, it needs to be positive. So this is going to drag us up, and it's going to be 3 kilonewton meters, and it goes upwards. So negative 6 plus 3 
is equal to negative 3. So that's where that point lies. The final step is then to look at the area inside this second part of our shear force diagram. Again, it's on the positive side of the diagram, so it's going to try and pull our uh, line upwards on the bending moment diagram. And what I would expect is that it's going to go back to zero, and you can prove it. It's going to be negative 3 plus the area in here, which is 2 times the 1.5 meter length, which is zero as expected. So that's our bending moment diagram. So again, that's all there is. See you in another video.